Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at our Swagman Current 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Buick Encore. So the Swagman Current is one of the only electric bike racks that has an inch and a quarter shank which makes it ideal for if you have super heavy electric bikes but you want to carry them on your Buick Encore, this might be one of your few options. So let's take a look at how this bike rack works. So we have our bike mounted at three points. So we have one, two wheel straps, as well as this frame hook that comes down and attaches or secures our bike by the frame. So this frame hook has a lock on the side. So if you do want to lock up your bike or keep in, try to deter theft, this is where you lock it. So when you want to take your bike off, you start at the wheel straps. You press this lever and then you pull up on that strap. Nice thing about this design is how it swings all the way back. That makes it easier to take your bike off because then you don't have a strap tangled up in your spokes. So one and two straps. Then we go over here to our frame mount. Note that whenever you release the frame mount, you should also be holding onto your bike because it might tip back towards your vehicle. So press that button, make sure it's unlocked, and then lift up on that hook. And from here, you can either tilt this backwards or what I actually like to do is to completely remove that hook, especially if you have heavy electric bikes. This might be your best option because then you don't want to have to lift it too far or too high. So still holding on to your bike, you pull that lever for that mast and then you can lower the mast. That way you only have a slight lift and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. So that's just an extra step you might want to have to do or you might want to do if you have heavy electric bikes. If you just have a light bike like what I had there, then it's perfectly fine to just release it from the hook, tilt it back, and then over. All right, we'll put these back into place so that you can see how they work. So you have your frame hook right here. So this goes down, ratchets down to secure that frame. So one and two right there. All right, let's take a close look at our cradles before we move anything else. So we have these really large cradles. You have a small groove on the inside for your smaller tires, and you have this large cradle for your fat bike tires. So the maximum tire width this can accommodate is five inches. Here on the strap, you have that extra long strap for, again, those fat tire bikes if needed. And you also have this cushion. So please try to arrange that cushion over the top of your wheel. That way, as you ratchet it down, this both secures your wheel, but it also protects it from extra scuffs and scratches during transport. Pro tip, as you do carry your bike rack around, even if you don't have a bike on it, please, please, please try to secure those straps so they're not flopping around as you drive around and you'll find that those straps will last a little bit longer for you. All right, this has a weight capacity of 60 pounds per bike. So if you do have extra heavy electric bikes, this may be a very good option for you. Note that you do have this frame hook. So if you have a step through electric bike, you will need to get a separate frame adapter bar. We'll take some measurements as well, just to give an estimate for how much length this is gonna add to the back of your Buick Encore. So from the bumper to the furthest point, which is gonna be by this cradle, it's gonna sit at 23 and a quarter inches. That's pretty decent for a two bike rack, but it's still something that you have to remember when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot. Now let's lower this mast so that we can take another look at our bike rack. But right before then, actually, let's take a look at ground clearance since our Encore is kind of closer to the ground. So right underneath those trays where your bikes are gonna be sitting, you're gonna have a ground clearance of 16 and a half inches. Now this does go, or it's kind of lower to the ground here in the middle. So you're gonna have a clearance of 10 inches 
and by the shank, a clearance of nine and a half inches. So that's actually on the lower side when it comes to ground clearance. Please remember those measurements whenever you're going up a steep incline like a driveway or a hill because as your front goes up, your rack is going to go down and you want as much clearance as you can get. While we're here, note how I have our trays <clears throat> or our cradles out to the very side. That's because as you fold it up, you may have issues with clearance here with your bumper. So we're going to take a look at that just to see how much exact clearance you have and what you're going to have to do to work with. Um, okay, so lift up this lever and then lower that mast over to this side, just like that. You may have to move your cradles back and forth to get the best fit. In my case here, I put my hooks all the way to the top. You also may have to switch your longer hooks with your shorter hooks. That's the thing with these bike racks, is you're trying to get the best fit for your own special situation. All right, moving this up and about. Let's move this cradle inwards and move that to the side so that we can move that back out. All right, that'll be good for now. Just to show you how that works, we now have our next feature, which is if you want to access your hatch, you can tilt this bike rack away. Now I tried it with a bike on earlier, and then that's all you have to do. You have to press that lever, and then you lift your hatch up, and that will allow you to maybe grab your bags, grab your water, grab your helmet without having to take your bike off. Then you just bring it back into position. And then that's where you also go to fold it up. So you pull that lever and then you fold the bike rack up right there. Okay, so now here is the tricky part. If you do have your cradles all the way to the end, you are gonna have clearance with your bumpers. So if you do not, you may have to adjust them back and forth to get the best fit. So note here that with our cradles out all the way, we're gonna be able to fit them to the end. See how there is about a half an inch, oh no, like an eighth of an inch clearance right there. So if you do have your bikes, you may need to adjust those cradles, push them out to the side so that you have clearance with it in this position. So let's take some measurements. Measuring from our bumper to the end of our bike rack right over there. It's gonna be sitting at 12 and three quarter inches in terms of length added to the back of it. Closest point is gonna be by that cradle right over there and you're gonna have uh, about an eighth of an inch of clearance there. So please make sure to tighten down your bolts as well as to tighten down this tray so that it does not move. You'll still get that opportunity to carry around your heavy bikes though and that's easier to move than your entire bike. All right, so we'll talk about how this fits into our hitch. This has an inch and a quarter shank, and it fits into class two inch and a quarter hitches. So please make sure you have the weight capacity for this bike rack and your bikes. This uses a three quarter anti-rattle bolt, and it also comes with a lock. So if you, you are going to get a tool to use to tighten this down, but I recommend picking up our wrenches with a three-quarter socket because that will make it so much easier to tighten that bolt down. So the anti-rattle bolt, what's going to happen is I'll shake the spike rack just to simulate the stress and the vibration and the rattle of the road. I'm mainly moving the vehicle at this point because that point is solid. That contact right there is a secure fit making for a smoother ride for your bikes as you ride along. With it folded up, also notice how our windows are completely visible as are our tail lights. It kind of covers our um, lights down there at the bottom, but that's not too bad. Here we have our license plate as well, completely visible, as is our backup camera. Now, please, if you do want to open your hatch, have this folded down for full clearance. So my final thoughts about this bike rack is, it is a very tight fit here on our car, but it does have a 60 pound weight capacity. So if you do have heavy electric bikes, this may be your best option. You also may wanna take a look at the Kuat transfer when it comes to its capability with inch and a quarter shanks, as well as weight capacity. 
Now, if you do have an engine core hitch, please make sure it's a class two and you have the weights for both your bikes and your bike rack. So that was a look at the Swagman Current 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Buick Encore. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 